Coronavirus cases skyrocket by 60% in Texas nursing homes, and the CDC chief says flu shots are key to the upcoming flu season as COVID-19 mitigation actions. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, July 22nd, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. COVID-19 cases are spreading rapidly throughout Texas nursing homes, recent state figures show. The number of nursing home residents in the state who have tested positive for the coronavirus have increased by more than 60% since July began. Additional figures revealed that as of July 10th, nearly 1,000 new residents have infections. Overall, more than 1,400 residents have died from the coronavirus in the state, while more than 11,100 cases have been reported. Last week, Texas Governor Greg Abbott confirmed that the state would not be easing restrictions on non-essential visitors at long-term care facilities. A spokesperson added that the decision was the most prudent for the safety of residents. Also last week, Robert Redfield, director of the CDC, said that nursing homes are seeing a recurrence of substantial transmission. The COVID-19 mitigation strategies of social distancing, face coverings, and hand washing not only will help to curb the spread of the coronavirus, they will help to lessen the severity of the upcoming flu season, the head of the CDC said. Quote, if we all did that for 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 weeks, the COVID outbreak in the United States would really be brought to its knees, Robert Redfield, MD, CDC director, said on Thursday. He continued, if we continue to do that in the fall, we'll have already mid-flu season. Redfield drew a comparison to Australia, whose seasons are off-cycle from the United States and currently has little flu because of the nation's adherence to prevention strategies. Such tactics, quote, will not only affect COVID, but other respiratory viruses, he said. By contrast, he posed that if the American public does not practice these measures, we could end up with two serious pathogens coming through, coming through at the same time and, as a consequence, have a very difficult time in terms of our response, he said, with the pathogens putting stress on our healthcare system. Redfield also stressed that the importance of weekly COVID-19 testing and flu shots for nursing home staff, given the strong asymptomatic aspect of COVID-19, unlike the flu, testing is critical to stopping the spread for, from staff to residents. He pointed out that there is a new recurrence of substantial transmission of the coronavirus in nursing homes throughout the United States. Flu vaccination rates among long-term care workers continue to be a problem, he said, while vaccination rates are strong among healthcare staff in hospitals. They lag among nursing home staff at under 70%, Redfield noted. As a result, nursing home facilities need to make receiving the flu vaccine mandatory. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.